Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look and today we are totally checking out the brand new-ish kind of sort of just found it myself, Marvel 375s. This is Wave 3 featuring the Invisible Woman from the Fantastic Four and you can screen grab all these if you want to read their bios. We have the Grey Hulk, we had Hulk, Green Hulk in the last... Now we got the Grey Hulk. This one, I'm actually pretty stoked on. We're getting a Bullseye, like classic Bullseye. Really dig that. Man of Mystery. He's a villain for Daredevil. That's awesome, right? And then you got Hank Pym's Ant-Man. Love the card art on that. That stands out on the shelf right there. All that red and black. And then you got Vision, of course. Classic Vision. Yellow cape and all. Very cool. Great to see Vision outside the MCU. I'm just going to say. So... We're going to look at all of these, including Cyclops and the Black Panther, which are a part of this wave, but I've already had due to, let's say, the Hasbro Pulse wave, wave zero, four, when the figures first debuted. So, sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice, hot, retro-style 3.75-inch cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new wave three Hasbro's Marvel 375 figures. And of course, here are all the figures out of their packaging, and as I already stated, Cyclops and Black Panther were originally part of the Hasbro Pulse Wave, which I guess you could call Wave Zero, but we will look at Cyclops just to kind of complete the wave and show them off. Really nice figure, as I said, with the original wave and now this guy. I love the yellows, love the classic-ish look for Cyclops, wouldn't mind seeing alternate uniforms, of course. And for the most part, all of these figures are going to be within the seven points of articulation route. So head, arms, wrists, legs. So not too shabby at all. Really nicely done. Same thing with Black Panther. Can't complain. Very simple. It's like a gray blue to him. But it's the classicness of these characters. This is what I think about when I think of retro, Marvel, original Marvel, all that kind of stuff. I definitely dig the costumes, which is why I really like the Fantastic Four. Very cool, blue and white, almost the animated style, right, from the 90s, from the old cartoon. I can't say that her head sculpt is perfect. She does have heeled boots, which is cool. Not the best look for Sue. She's a little off in some body aspects of her. But still, I mean, it's a Fantastic Four. Oh, and there she goes all phasing out on us. And then we have Vision. And again, very classic. Love the cape. This is one of the newer characters to have a cape on. So I definitely dig that. I like the orangey red face. You got the stone in his forehead and everything else. So it is very cool. And now as you can see, yeah, they'll spin at the, let's say, mid arm kind of the wrist you could kind of say we'll just say that so they're not going to have joints in the sense of knees and elbows they're just simple and they don't need to be more than that with the gray hulk he is he's my least favorite of this wave i just don't think that going from the gorgeous card art for all of these right to go into this face, I'm not totally stoked on it. Sure, the body's fine and everything. And I'm not going to delve into scale-wise because that's not really what these are going for. They're all kind of in the same realm. But Ant-Man himself, really brightly colored. Nice reds, nice blues. The black's great. And I love his helmet, right? Just classic Ant-Man right there with the antennas. They're not going to break off. They're very malleable rubber material. So that's cool. Same articulation overall. But again... I just appreciate the crispness. If anything, if I had to nitpick anything, it's that I wish these characters had more accessories. Much like Bullseye here. Now, Bullseye comes with a pair of size that also Electric came with with the last wave, but he's got some really crisp paint to him, nice black lines, every which way it's very cool, but in either case, nice smile to him, sinister bad guy. Great to be getting more bad guys, let's just say, but you can have gradual team building right we have the human torch and now we got the invisible woman building up the fantastic four we got some marvel avengers action going on you got cap and vision and you got warbird and iron man put the gray hulk put the green hulk put black panther put spider-man gradually just kind of building up the avengers that's pretty cool now to see the difference between green and gray it's a different head sculpt but again I'll gravitate more towards the green. 
I like that figure. The gray one, there's just something just not doing it for me. It's just kind of humdrum, unfortunately. And of course, oh, you don't want to mix all three of these peoples together, right? <laughs> As you can kind of see, it doesn't really show up the best, but yeah, Bullseye's side color is just a little bit darker, so you can kind of differentiate them. All these characters come with weapons, accessories, and again, Bullseye Electra, that's not a good combination, you know what I'm talking about? We got the X-Men going on, Magneto, Cyclops, Iceman, Iceman, very cool looking figure, I love the color on him. And then again, unfortunately, I mean, you could throw Magneto in there, but I kind of see him as like an anti-hero. These are the bad guys, the bad, bad guys. So in either sense, for me, these are just a fun little line to collect. I don't go crazy out of my way rushing around stores to find these. I'll take my time finding them. I just found Wave 3. I just found Wave 4's Silver Surfer. And when I find the rest of those, of course, I'll be stoked. I love the colors on these. I love the retro feel of them. Simple, not overly complicated points of articulation. That's all they're meant to be. Mostly it's meant to invoke the days of old. Marvel superheroes just battle each other's bad guys, good guys. That's all it needed to be. I love just everything about the classic nature of Marvel. Comic books have gone crazy these days. But if you really want a really cool retro throwback to all the old designs that have lasted and lasted, and the ones that I think about all the time when I think about these characters, then yeah, definitely consider the Marvel 375 line. But I am curious to know if you guys have found this wave or not. Are you collecting these figures? Are they a total pass? Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Marvel 375. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember doesn't need a whole bunch of articulation to just make a cool pocket-sized superhero for your pocket, wherever I was going with that. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.